Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So we're on the 24th of October and we're about a week away from Halloween day. And if you guys aren't aware, Rockstar Games have got more content planned to be released in the Halloween update, which I'm going to be covering in this video. But I'm also going to be covering some news to do with a glitch with the Jack O' Lanterns challenge, which is resulting in players losing all of their weapons, as well as some more changes to the UFO event. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so firstly, as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, for this Halloween update, Rockstar Games have been running a UFO event where a brand new UFO will spawn into the map every single day. We've got about a week or so left of this event. However, like I said, for this event, a new UFO will spawn in every day and all you guys have got to do is take a picture of these UFOs in order to complete the challenge. Now, you guys will be getting $15,000 for photographing the normal ufos and if you guys come across the stealth ufos they will be giving you guys fifty thousand dollars now i have already made a video going into full detail about the ufo event showing you guys all of the maps and the spawn dates for these ufos so if you guys are wanting more information based around the whole ufo event then i will leave a link to that video down low in the description however of course it is the 12th day today of the ufo challenge and here is the location for day 12 as you guys can see on screen it's right by the power plant so a very easy location to go ahead and find on the right side of the map and if you guys aren't aware they will spawn in the game between 10 p.m and 4 a.m in game time so not real life time i've seen a few people getting confused thinking the ufo spawning at real life 10 p.m if you guys have no idea how to check the time in the game just simply pull up your phone in the bottom right by pressing up and you guys can see as soon as it hits 10 o'clock between four o'clock the ufo will be spawning in now if for some reason you guys get too close to the ufo before you take the picture and you think you failed the challenge and you've got to wait another 48 minutes until a full day passes just simply drive down the road and find a new session i also seen a lot of you guys thinking that because you missed one ufo that you had to wait a whole day to get another one to spawn in i have personally gone ahead and found a new session and found another ufo in the exact same location just like i said make sure you don't get too close to it before you go ahead and take the picture now like i mentioned in the intro as i'm sure a lot of you guys are aware rockstar games are also running another event known as the jack o lanterns event which will give you guys some halloween rewards for completing it there's 200 pumpkins around the map that you guys can go ahead and collect by collecting 10 you guys will unlock the pumpkin mask and of course by collecting 200 you guys will also unlock the pumpkin tea now it looks like there's been a glitch with this collectible resulting in players losing all of their weapons there's been tons of reports from players who have gone ahead and collected one of these jack-o-lanterns only to be rewarded with losing all of their goddamn weapons which in this day and age including all the mk2 weapons could be easily worth a few million dollars now of course if you guys haven't collected any of these jack-o-lanterns then you won't know that there is a trick or a treat that you guys will be rewarded with every time you collect one i've already made a video showing you guys all of the locations and the quickest way to collect them so if i do remember i will leave a link to that video down low in the description however in that video i did list off all of the treats and all of the tricks that rockstar games will give you guys for collecting these now in the tricks there was no report of losing all of your weapons so as of right now everyone is pretty much reporting this as a glitch and not a trick in the game that rockstar games are playing on everyone so for you guys that are worrying and still haven't got your weapons back i would go ahead and just contact rockstar games by opening up a ticket and explaining to them that you guys have been affected by this bug and you've lost all of your weapons and i am interested to know has this happened to any of you guys as i do know a lot of you guys have been taking part in this jack o lanterns challenge have any of you guys lost all of your weapons by collecting one of these pumpkins and if so have you received your weapons back yet now of course if you guys aren't aware every single gta plus member this month received this rare mummy outfit to celebrate halloween i've seen tons of people leaving comments on my videos and just asking me do 
do I think Rockstar Games will release the mummy outfit for everyone come Halloween? And my honest opinion on this is I do not think they will be releasing this mummy outfit for everyone. If you guys aren't aware, every single month Rockstar Games release exclusive content for GTA Plus members. Now, this content is only unlocked in that month. So to give you guys an example, if you guys joined GTA Plus this month, you guys will only unlock the rewards from this month onwards. You will not be unlocking the rewards for previous GTA Plus months. So for an example, there was this biker bomber jacket which came out last month for GTA Plus members. And if you guys joined this month just to unlock the mummy outfit, you guys won't be unlocking the bomber jacket that got released last month. Hence the reason I cannot see Rockstar Games releasing the mummy outfit which they made exclusive for GTA Plus members for everyone. It will just make people think what is the point of even getting GTA Plus if Rockstar Games are just going to release these exclusive items for everyone. And I just want to give you guys a quick heads up on this because I did see a lot of you guys wanting this outfit and thinking would Rockstar Games release it for everyone everyone i don't think there will be so if you guys really are wanting this outfit the only way to unlock it will be to become a gta plus member this month if you guys become a gta plus member next month you guys won't be unlocking this mummy outfit as this is the exclusive reward for october and of course like i said we've only got a week left in this month so i thought i'd give you guys a quick heads up if you were wanting this outfit you've only got a week left to go ahead and acquire it and of course this thursday so in only four days rockstar games will be rolling out more halloween content for the weekly update which of course means you guys have only got four more days left to make the most of this weekly update which of course did include quite a few things they added a brand new cerberus event where you guys will get hunted down by the cerberus truck i've already made a video talking about that event in full detail so if i do remember i will leave it linked down low in the description of course they also added in some more of the halloween content including all of the face masks as well as some of the halloween masks we do have more halloween masks coming very soon which i have already showcased in another video so once again if i do remember i will leave a link to that video down low in the description however you guys have only got four more days left to earn triple money on all of the free mode events as well as double money on the beast first slashers adversary mode as well as all of the exotic x Sports, which will pay you guys around 40k per delivery and of course this week's podium vehicle if you guys aren't aware is the thrax which is worth 2.3 million so definitely worth going ahead and getting for free this week whilst you guys can and if i do remember i will leave a link to a video down below in the description showing you guys the best way to win the podium vehicle every single week and finally on screen are all of the discounts you guys have got four more days left until rockstar games will be updating the game with new discounts a new podium vehicle and new money making methods however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks all for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace